your application could be a complete failure if you don't have a solid testing strategy in place. But don't worry, Nest.js makes it super easy to write tests for your application. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to effectively write tests in Nest.js. We'll cover the tools you need and build a complete testing strategy that gives you more confidence in your app, no matter how complex it gets. But before I show you how to write the test, let me show you what kind of test we'll be writing. In a typical Nest.js application, you've got utility functions, you've got Nest.js classes like services and controllers, and these classes and functions are grouped together to form modules. And your entire application is a collection of these modules. When you run your app, it typically relies on databases and external services. At each one of these levels, whether it's a utility function, a Nest.js class, a module, or the whole application, you need to apply different techniques and tools for testing. I'll be using a very basic Nest.js app that has a recipes module to demonstrate all the testing steps. The first layer we'll tackle is testing utility functions. These are usually the easiest to test because they tend to have clear inputs and outputs and limited dependencies. I have a format name utility function that simply trim trailing white spaces and transform the first letter into an uppercase. To test this function, you can simply create a test file and write unit tests using jest. And to run this test, you can use the test script command defined in your package.json. Testing Nest.js classes requires a little bit more setup, but we can use the Nest.js testing library and you'll see that it's as easy as testing utilities and library functions. The Nest.js testing library helps you isolate any Nest.js class, wrap it in a testing module, and provide the necessary dependencies. Let's take the recipes service class, and I'll show you how you can test it. An in-memory store database is injected to the service, and the class method uses the database service to read and write recipes. To test the recipes service method, you can add a test file, and you add a setup phase where you create a testing module with test create testing module. And in that module, you add the recipes service as a provider and call the compile method to generate the module. After that, you can access a recipes service instance created by the testing module using the module.get function. But if you add a test to check that the service has been instantiated properly, you'll get an error because you haven't provided all the dependencies needed for the recipes service. To fix that, you can create a mock store object and provide the mock as a value for the in-memory store service. You could do the exact same thing if you have a real database or any other type of dependency. This is a very powerful pattern because you can have full control over what's injected in the class. You can mock the output of the dependencies and you can test that the class is calling the right services method. You can apply the same pattern to the controller and the other Nest.js classes in other modules. So you're essentially testing each part of the module in isolation. This is like testing a car engine without the rest of the car then testing the tires, then the steering wheel, and so on. But even if each part works perfectly, you still can't be sure that the whole car will run smoothly when you put it together. It's the same with your module. Testing individual classes isn't enough. You need to test the modules as a whole to make sure that everything works together. The approach for testing a Nest.js module is very similar to testing a Nest.js class. But this time, you will add your test inside the test folder. Again, you can start by creating a testing module with test.createTestingModule. But this time, you need to import the entire module you want to test. This could also work if you wanted to test your entire app. You could import the app root module for test cases that involve collaboration between multiple modules, for example. Once you have the module set up, you can create an application instance using create nest application and initialize it with init 
and you can stop the application with close after the tests are done. With the test module, you can even override parts of your application when needed. For example, I can override my in-memory store service and use a mock value instead. This is particularly useful when you have external services or databases connection. Instead of overriding providers, you could also mock the underlying database itself. For example, if you use type ORM, you could configure your app to run an in-memory instance instead of connecting to a real database. The key is that you always have in mind the scope of your test and clearly identify the scope boundaries to decide what you should mock. In short, everything inside the scope cannot be mocked and for any dependency outside of the test scope, you can decide to use a mock or a real instance. From this point on, your app is ready to be tested and you can begin sending requests to the API endpoints to verify that everything works as expected. For this, you can use SuperTest. SuperTest is an extremely useful library that allows us to send HTTP requests to the app and check the responses. These tests use a JEST config file that only picks up the E2E test and you can run the test with the test E2E script defined in your package.json and they should pass if your module has been implemented correctly. But imagine testing a self-driving car in a control lab environment. Sure, you can test that it drives straight, it turns and stops, but can you really guarantee that it will work in the unpredictable condition of the real world? It's the same thing with your Nest application. So you need to run it with all its dependencies such as database and other services and test it in conditions that are as close as possible to a production environment. And that brings us to the next step. This time we want to test the full application. For this next step, I'll run my application locally. And if I had a database to connect to or any other dependencies, I would need to run them as well. But of course, the test that we will write can also work on an instance of your application deployed in a test environment. I'll put the test in a separate test API folder, but you could even write them in a complete separate project outside of your Nest application. Those tests run in a separate process anyway, so it doesn't really matter. You can add a custom jest config to only pick files with a .jest suffix. And by using the .test suffix, you make them different from the other types of tests we already have implemented before. Then you can add a new test API script to your package.json that points to the new jest config file. Now you are ready to create a test file for a given controller and test that all the endpoints of that controller work as expected. You'll still use SuperTest to send requests to your app's endpoint, but this time, the test don't care about the application's internal workings. All that matters is the interaction between the client and the server, exactly like how a real user would experience your app. For example, I can test that I can create a feijoada recipe by sending a post request, for testing other endpoints, I could add a create recipe function and this would help me test the delete endpoint by first creating a raclette recipe as a setup and then test that I can delete it. End-to-end -end testing is arguably the most important level of testing because it simulates how a real user would interact with your application. But your application is not going to be used by one user at a time. Even if you now know how to write tests that cover all the levels of your Nest.js application, this only gives you confidence that it works for one request at a time. What if your application is used by thousands of users at the same time? Will it work as smoothly? So you can watch this next video to learn how to test your application for these scenarios and ensure that it can handle extreme loads.